things for three in. We're all looking. Look, a buggy with three wheels. Yes. Look, a three-legged stool. Oh, yes. What's happening over there? It's the three-legged rest, sort of three legs. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We need more threes. Any shapes with three corners and three sides? Look at the sandwiches. They're triangles with three sides. Ah! Ha, 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 ha! We need more triangles to beat the shape, Japer. I can't see any more triangles. Then I'll have to make some. I bet I can. How? Get the straw together to make a shape with three sides. I'll power up the brain game machine. <laughs> Brain game, brain game, to solve the problem, use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together, joined up thinking. Getting brain power now, brain game! Three straws together, make a triangle. Three fingers together, make a triangle. Make a triangle! Three straws make a triangle. Yes! Three corners and three sides. Ha! We've got her worried, but we need a bigger triangle. I'll find some things to make a bigger triangle. I wonder. Yes, why not? Three children to make a triangle. Three children to make a triangle. Three corners and three sides. Yes, well done, three. See, Shape Jeeper, I found lots of things with three in them and make triangles. Nah. We've got her worried. Square. Ha, 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 ha. She's still going on about four sides. If we could turn that square rug into a triangle, that would show her. I'm sure I've seen a square being turned into a triangle. When? Try and remember. When did we see a square being folded into a triangle? Back in the cafe, the waitress folding the napkins. I'll put it on screen. Yes, look at that. I'll do that with the picnic rug. We'll help. Square into triangle. Square into triangle. Square into triangle. Yeah! Yes, triangle. Three corners and three sides. Now fold that shape, Japer, too. Square into triangle. She won't like it. Square into triangle. I fixed the machinery. Great. Come back now, number three. Checking the room's clear. It's clear. One, two, three. Well done, three. That was a bit tricky. Got it all on screen for you to see. The girl's car should have had four wheels. The table needed four legs. That shape, Japer. Saying things with three don't work. Just because she was square today, she liked four. But we found lots of things with three. And we made triangles too. Three corners and three sides. Yeah. We turned a square into a triangle. And got rid of the shape shaper. And everything back to normal. Hooray! So I'm in the middle. Yes. For this game, you need three people to play. To you. Ooh. I'll get it, I'll get it. What's the matter? I was just wondering, if we'd folded a corner of that rug again, what shape would it have made? 
find out and call the number jacks. Next on Tiny Pop, the number jacks. Tiny Pop. It's on screen. She needs a bigger brush than that. That's what she thought, and this is what she got. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a bigger brush. But it's much too big. She'll have even more trouble now. What's she doing? That's very clever. But she's not going to brush her hair properly like that. And there's another problem. This boy was drawing and he ran out of paper. So he wished he had a bigger bit. And now it's too big. There's definitely something strange going on. So will you send someone out? Yes. How about you four? Ready to go on a mission? I suppose so. Why not? Four is on his way. Thanks. Hey, hey, we've got a problem. What should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? We've got a problem to solve. Who's going out there? Number four. Checking everything's clear. All clear. No wait. Wait there, Four. Ready when you are. Okay, all clear now. Stand by, Four. Off you go. Scanning for a four to land on. Found a four. Oh. Good luck, four. Keep your eyes open. I will. I'll go and help that girl and boy. At least that huge piece of paper is going to be recycled. Her friend's helping. They're doing their best, but it's not great. But things aren't right out there. Right, let's sort this out. We need to know why things went wrong. Agent 47 here. I bet the girl wished for a bigger brush. 
She didn't say how much because she wanted it. The boy must have wished for a bigger piece of paper. He didn't say how much bigger. I bet they're right. That girl and boy didn't say clearly what they wanted. Got another call coming in. The man who does the cleaning, he's in trouble with his boss now. Putting it on screen. That brush was too big with sweeping with the pan. So did he want a different brush? Yes, he did. He wished he had a smaller brush. He wasn't very clear how small he wanted it. He's going to be sweeping for ages with that brush. He's a bit unlucky they got brushes that were so wrong. I don't think they were all unlucky. I think something made them have a problem. What did? The problem blob. Look. Yuck! Putting the data on screen. If you spot a blob of slime, guess what? Big slob can buy. Uh oh. Great. Big and blubbery. Blubbery. Look, the cleaner's got slime on him. That's why things are going wrong. The girl and boy must have been slime too. He's getting very hot. All that sweeping with a tiny brush. I bet he's wishing he had something to wipe himself with. Oh no, what size will it be? Bigger than he expected. A lot bigger than he expected. All because he didn't say what size cloth he wanted. You've got to say exactly what you want, or the problem blob will make sure it's not right. More problems. At the cafe, the lady's just stuck for a few beans with her meal. Look, she's been slimed. So something will go wrong. She asked for a few beans so she'll get... <laughs> Three beans. That's not very many. If you're not clear about what you want, the problem blob makes sure you end up with something silly. She's asked for more beans. Did she make it clear how many more beans she wanted? No. Oh dear. Uh oh. If you don't make it clear what you want, that's when things go wrong, thanks to the problem blob. If you're cold in bed and you wanted a blanket, you might just get a doll's blanket that was far too small. Or someone might wish for a bike and they'd get one that was far too big. Or someone might wish for some ice cream and the problem blob would make sure they got far, far, far too much. You've got to be clear in what you say. We've got to sort this problem blob out. There are problems at a picnic. I'm on my way. Be careful what you say. I bet the blob is there somewhere. There he is. He'll make things go wrong again. <laughs> So the sandwiches are all different sizes. <laughs> that's a very small one. And that's a very big one. And that's a very long sandwich. These sandwiches need sorting out. How can they make all the sandwiches the right size? Make them all about the same size. Yes, make them all the size of your hand. Brilliant. We'll send Brain Game to sort it out. I'll get the brain game going. Brain game, brain game, to solve the problem, use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together, joined up thinking. Getting brain power now, brain game. 
All sandwiches got to be the size of a hand. The size, the of, size a hand. of a hand. Yes, sandwiches the size of a hand. The sandwiches are going well. The blob won't like that. How are they going to share the drink out fairly? If they all have one cup full, it should be all right, shouldn't it? What could go wrong? Look! That's a cup full, but it's not very much. And there's another cup full. That's not very fair. But it is very heavy. The problem blob liked that. <laughs> the cups have got to be about the same size too. Make the cups about the same size as your hands. Like this. Sending brain gain. Make the cups the size of your hands. The size of your hands. Cups are all the size of hands. The picnic is going to be good. Not if we don't get rid of the problem, Blob. Send the problem, Blob, away. Send him away. Away, away. Oh, no. We didn't say how far away. Send him so far away, we can't even see it. So far, we can't even see it. Oh. Yes! Done it! Come back now, Four. Here I come. All clear for landing. One, two, three, four! Well done, Four. We told that problem blob exactly where to go. We got it all on screen. The girl wanted a bigger brush, but not that big. And the paper was much too big. The cleaner needed a brush to match his pan. And he didn't need a giant handkerchief. It was all the problem Blob's fault. And he was making the picnic go wrong too. All the sandwiches were the wrong size. So we made them the size of a hand. And we sent the problem blob away. So far we couldn't see him. Everything back to normal. You must be tired, Four, after all that rushing about. Do you want to sit down? I do. Well, we'll budge up. To make exactly enough room for you. Thank you. Very good. One last thing. Can you find anything in your house that is about the size of your hand? Find out and call the number jack. Next on Tiny Pop, the number jacks. Putting it on screen. She's still got a lot of things. Yes, but look what she had before. Something strange going on. We better send someone out. Thank you. 
OK, who's going? I've had a good rest. I'm ready for a bit of action. OK, Six is going. Get ready for launching. We've got a problem. What should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Here's a problem. Needs a fix. Who's going out there? Number Six. Good luck, Six. Ready for launch. Checking the room's empty. It's all clear. Let's go! Looking for a six to land on. Got a six. <laughs> right, I'm ready for action. Why have some toys been taken and some been left? All agents out there, any ideas? Agent 68 here. There's only one of each toy. Something has taken all the other toys and left only one of each. Six, there's just one of every toy. So we've got to watch out for things there are more than one of. That's what will be taken. Agent 94 here. I think there's going to be trouble for the gardener. OK, I'm on my way. I've put it on the screen. He's all ready to sow some seeds. He's getting the soil ready with his fork. Nice and flat. Lots of seeds to sell. Well, that's all right. Where's the problem? I think I can see the problem. What? Look! Yeah! The number taker! Putting the data on screen. Number taker, number taker, have you seen the number taker? Taking all the numbers you can see. Picking, nicking, getting, matching as mean a number taker as can be. With his number sucker up, he's a number mucker up, he's as mean a number taker as can be. What's he going to take? We need to watch out for things there are more than one of. The fork should be all right. There's only one of that. And there's only one rake. Oh, no! There are lots of seeds. The number taker would be after them. He's getting some more seeds. Why is he grabbing the fork? There's only one of them. Agents, what's going on? There's only one fork, but it has three prongs. The number taker is taking any number more than one. <laughs> What's he done? There's only one prong left. That's not going to be much good. Oh no! The prongs of the rake! That's not going to be much good. He's not going to be happy. Surely nothing else can go wrong. Oh no, the watering can. The number taker has taken all the other holes and only left one hole. That number taker, where's he gone? Off to cause more trouble. Taking things and only leaving one. He's even taken one of the gardener's boots. 
I'd better get after the number taker. How can we stop the number taker taking things? He mustn't get to see anything if there's more than one of them. I've spotted the number taker. He's looking for things so he can grab them. OK. The plan is to make sure he doesn't see anything with a number more than one in. Right. We've got to spot things before the number taker does and get them out of his sight. OK, good plan. Everyone look closely. Mustn't let anything pass that has more than one of anything. Check out the trolley. Is it in danger from the number taker? Yes. It's got one, two, three, four wheels. Scare the lady away, Six. I guess I've got to. Boom! I don't like scaring people. It's for their own good. Better than having your wheels grabbed by the number taker. I'd better see if there are any more things. The gardener. He doesn't want any more trouble. Is his wheelbarrow OK? Yes. It's only got one wheel. If he's after wheels, the number taker won't be interested. Great. We've got to get rid of the number taker. If we don't, he'll keep on grabbing things that have more than one. If you had some cereal, the number taker would grab everything except one bit of cereal. If you had a plant in a pot, it would only have one leaf and one petal. Or if there were lots of people together, the number taker would make it only one person and she'd be very lonely. We've got to stop that number taker. Well, you'll have to do it quick because he's coming. Oh, no. He'll be after you, Six. Oh, yes. Because you're a number more than one. What number isn't the number taker grabbing? One. He won't grab one. You've got to get number one out here. OK. Time for an emergency launch. I'll get her ready. Do you think one will be all right? She'll have to be. Good luck, one. Ready for launch. Checking the room's empty. All clear. It's going to be a very short countdown. Ready? One, zero! One is on her way. Found her a one to land on. Come on, one. We need you. She can get close without being grabbed. It's up to you, One. You're the only number who can save us. What can poor little One do against the great big number taker? Wait a minute. She doesn't have to be little One. She can be big One. Yes. We need Brain Game to make her bigger. Brain Game. Brain game to solve the problem, use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together, joined up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain game. Think big. Think one elephant. Think, Think big. big one plane. Think big one plane. Sending brain game now. Think big. Think big one. did the trick. Come on back, Six. All clear. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well done, One. Come and see what you look like on the screen. She only had 